Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover from the science and observers community today. There are notes on the sun, weather, life in space, climate, asteroids, and cosmology. And we begin at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last day to be a continuation of the low activity paradigm. Southern coronal holes are patchy. The north is still trying to produce active regions, but we're just not far enough into the next cycle phase yet. You are going to begin noticing new charts on spaceweathernews.com. The officials are changing how they deliver the data, so Todd is now forced to grind out new charts from the raw files. Please give him a big thank you for working to keep those information streams alive for all of you here and in our app. The solar wind is very calm and quiet. It is going to stay that way until the next coronal hole stream impacts the planet, and geomagnetic conditions are likely to remain calm and quiet as well. We're going to Spain where tremendous winds, waves, and rainfall took on the Mediterranean coastline. Damage looks relatively bad, and it is. And up into the land, the storms brought tons of snow. It was a rough one-two punch for Spain, continuing today. We're going next to Stanford. We're watching what foregoing preventative burns did in Australia has them a bit shook. Folks, the same policies that restrict how authorities can do smaller preventative fires are the ones that leave tons of drying fuel on the ground to go ablaze later. It's the same policies put down to allegedly help the environment, and they're what's causing it to burn. I vote we send all those policymakers here. Just kidding, but seriously, the next story is about living in space, and it's hard to imagine many of us saw this idea coming, even if most of the space ideas we hear about are already pretty out there. So how about using fungus to build your space home? NASA team working on it, and it does have some interesting benefits. If there is damage, just apply an organic solution and your house is going to heal itself. Heck, it grew itself. It is strong. Insulating of heat and electricity. But one major solar flare and the proton event is going to kill your house, cell by cell, making it decay and fall apart with you inside it. That's a bad way to go homeless, and that's before you remember you're homeless on another planet. Perhaps another chuckle is warranted here, a convincing argument for using peer pressure if you want people to take you seriously on climate change. When the science doesn't work, you need to try something else, of course, and nothing says, hey, I'm your friend, listen to me, like bullying, or the same tactics used to get kids to try drugs. Well played, nature. And a non-sarcastic well played to Caltech. Gravity, high photoionization, and electromagnetic solar wind have mostly cleared the inner solar system. Mostly. The first asteroid to stay completely within Venus orbit has been discovered. Actually, it creeps in pretty close to Mercury at its perihelion as well. These asteroids should be vastly different than the ones we know of at further distances, could be chemically exciting, and definitely are extremely rare. Lastly, on the science front, we've got the official field update on direct and indirect searches for dark matter. They do this every year. It is a comprehensive review of the field and projects in play, but I'm going to save you a whole bunch of time and boredom. It's not going well. Two things to end here. First, I want to thank Random Carlson, quite obviously with Randall Carlson's photo icon there, which I love. Big thanks for creating some new Nova animations using the program Universe Sandbox. I actually went ahead and tried it myself. It is pretty fun, and indeed, if you use the Sandbox or the vastly more powerful Space Engine program, we do love getting new animations to use from those programs, and even better if you've made them yourself. Now yesterday, on January 20th, we opened Observer's Research. The interest was enormous and amazing, and I thank you. But if you go back and listen, we are just starting with the earthquake research. I cannot get 100 groups up and running all at once. So once this group is together, set, we'll be opening up about one new group each week. Staggered like that. So if you sent an email on another topic, thank you so much. But you'll need to send it again when we call for that topic. And please don't be offended when we ignore the majority of the non-related ones among the three to 400 emails that came in yesterday. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.